Welcome to Walter Dorwin Teague, His Life, Work, and Influence. I'm Rick Soloway, and I'm a photographer and photo historian from Tucson, Arizona. I collect vintage cameras and vintage photographs, and I research and write articles on photo history. Back in 2006, I teamed up with Oregon photo historian Ralph London to co-author an article on the camera designs of Walter Dorwin Teague. That article appeared in the December 2006 issue of Photographic Canadiana. In that same year, Ralph and I were invited to give a presentation on that same topic at the George Eastman House in Rochester, New York. American modernist and industrial designer Walter Dorman Teague was born in Decatur, Indiana on December 18, 1883. Teague later attended the Art Students League in New York City from 1903 to 1907. In 1911, he started his own design firm, gaining notoriety for his typographic designs and for what came later to be known as Teague Borders. In 1923, Teague designed the format for the cover of Time magazine. After a trip to Europe in the middle 1920s and inspired by the Bauhaus designs of Walter Gropius, Teague returned to the U.S. and started what's believed to be the first industrial design firm in America, followed by other noted designers like Raymond Lowy, Henry Dreyfus, and Norman Bel -Geddes. Teague was retained by the Eastman Kodak Company in 1928 to assist in revamping and designing cameras, packaging, and advertising. Teague remained a design consultant for Kodak until his death, December 5, 1960. Teague also played a role in the design of the early Polaroid land cameras, his name appearing as co-designer on several early design patents. Teague was prolific. His other credits include designs for Boeing, A.B. Dick, DuPont, the Ford Motor Company, National Cash Register, Texaco, and U.S. Steel. He also designed cigarette lighters, radios, scripto pens, pianos for Steinway, and interiors for the new Air Force Academy being built at Colorado Springs, Colorado. Teague also designed exhibits for the Century of Progress World's Fair in Chicago in 1933 through 1934, the California Pacific International Exposition in San Diego in 1935, the Texas Centennial in Dallas in 1936. The New York World's Fair in 1939 and 1940, where he also served brilliantly as a director on the design committee for that fair. Ralph and I would like to especially thank Charlie Cameraman, a world-class Kodak collector in Oregon. Charlie generously contributed cameras featured here at the Madsonian Museum of Industrial Design. Thanks, Charlie. Special thanks also to Teague's granddaughter, Allison, who curated this exhibit and David Sellers and Anna Urban, who made this venue possible. Thanks, everyone.